everybody, we're going to show you how to do CPAP using a helmet. The helmet is a device that you put on your head using a collar that is made of a non-latex material, very soft. You're going to put it around the patient's head, kind of like this. And then you're going to lock this on top of the, on top of the, of the collar part. So you receive it essentially like this, already assembled, in a bag. Different sizes are possible. This can be adapted and cut in different dimensions to adapt to the patient's neck. We're gonna do that for you, so you won't have to worry about that. Once you assemble the helmet, you're going to put together the circuit part. This is an expiratory part, the expiratory part of the, of the uh, helmet circuit. It contains a pip valve, a small piece of tubing, and a filter. This is very important. This is an antimicrobial filter, which makes this device particularly safe, because it will not allow the virus to spread from around the patient. You're gonna hook this up here. And then you're gonna hook it up to the inspiratory limb, which also has a filter. The reason for this filter is not so much for viruses, but it is for noise reduction. And then I'm gonna put it like this here. Another thing that may be important is that uh, this helmet comes uh, with a little flap inside the inspiratory port. I would remove the flap because it makes it easier for the patient to get fresh air. Now you're connected. This is gonna go to the source of gas that you're gonna use, correct? And there are two options that we're gonna give you. If you're in the ICU, or if you have this device available, a Turi device with an oxygen sensor and a humidifier, it's probably the best configuration if you can do that. This is safe because you can monitor the oxygen fraction. You can humidify the gas, and uh, it's something that most practitioners are familiar with. At this point, you should be set up with your oxygen supply, your tubing that goes from the uh, device to the humidifier, and then another tubing that goes from the humidifier to the helmet. I show you a filter here for the inspiratory part, and for the expiratory part, I show you a filter and a pit valve. I will recommend starting with a pit of five centimeters of water. You can now start the oxygen. As a starting setting, I would recommend 50 liters per minute of oxygen and a fraction of oxygen of 60%. Okay? At this point, you should be ready for your patient to wear the helmet. You put it on like a sweater. Hello. For when you have patients on the floor where you don't have any other device available, you can use a Venturi. Uh, the Venturi is a device that mixes oxygen and gas and, uh, and air. Um, at a high flow, at a fixed uh, concentration. You're going to hook up this side port uh, right here to the oxygen supply. You're gonna dial to 30 liters per minute, which is gonna correspond to about 60 liters per minute total flow, and a, a FiO2 of about 60%. And then you're going to, again, connect this to the helmet. Don't forget to put a filter the helmet for noise reduction. 
So this is actually quite noisy. And then we're gonna turn on the oxygen. And you're going to be able to put where you know putting on the paper. Do not forget to put earplugs in the patient's ear or earphones just for noise reduction because as you heard this is actually quite noisy. Arm straps that you can attach to the hubs here on the side of the helmet and the way you use them is by placing them around the patient's arm under the armpit. The purpose of this is to avoid the helmet from going up and down and make it more stable for the patient. 